begin with uniformly wet hair. Create a horizontal parting at the round of the head, from temple to crown. Starting on the right side, cut using diagonal sections from the parting to the hairline. Using the previous section as your guide, follow this pattern to the center back, with lengths being longer at the top and tapering into the perimeter and the nape. This removes bulk and the diagonal section pattern creates movement. Cut a basic outline around the ear. Once dry, this line will be strengthened with an edger. Create similar horizontal parting on the left side from hairline to crown at the round of the head. Use horizontal sections parallel to the parting, increasing the length as you cut. This becomes the heavier side. Transition above the round of the head with diagonal sections. Using the guide created on the sides and back, over direct all sections to the stationary guide to build shape. Direct all remaining hair on the top horizontally using the guide created below. Abandon the guide moving forward to preserve the length at the front. Repeat this process on the other side, blending the top to the sides and crown horizontally. Add grooming spray and blow dry to add volume. Once the hair is dry, use the blending shear over comb to remove excess bulk throughout the shape. Point cut with the blending shears. Continue to point cut throughout the interior to remove bulk without removing length. This will also create additional movement on the top of the cut.
Pay particular attention to the transition area where the longer hair on the top meets the shorter hair on the sides. Work blend and shear over comb in this area. Alternate using an edger over comb and a freehand edger to detail and finish the taper at the neckline. Strengthen the outline around the ear area using an edger. Add product from scalp to ends. Comb into shape. The Junior Contour, done.